This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a three and a half inch hard drive into a tray um, that will work on a T7600, uh, T7610, or T7910 Dell Precision Workstation. Um, so, if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, um, you should definitely go there. Um, you can check it out, look at all the features that we have. Um, what we do here is we provide free content. Uh, for like hardware upgrades to optimize your systems for gaming or other high-end computing. Um, so in your case, if you have a T7600, a T7610, or a T7910, um, click on the blog page. You can search any of those options, and it'll bring up blog pages and show you how to upgrade and optimize your workstation for gaming. All right, so let's get to the actual install here. So uh, as you can see here, we have uh, a flathead screwdriver. Uh, we have a Dell SATA hard drive, and we have the hard drive tray that should come standard with your T7600, uh, T7610, or T7910. And so the trick is we want to actually install this drive into this tray, and and uh, we're going to use the flathead uh, as a little bit of leverage um, to actually help mount this drive. So um, as you can see, there are four little metal pieces that pop out that are, are that are basically there to hold that three and a half inch drive into place. So, um, likewise, there are three female holes on the actual hard drive. So basically, what you need to do is line those up, and we're going to show you how to do that. And here's the connection. We want the connection to be on the outside um, because that's how it's going to allow it to connect to the back plane. So one of the sides will pop in really easily. And we're going to choose this side. So that side's in. Now here's where it gets tough because there's not a lot of play in this tray to actually get those metal dimples to be installed into the female uh, hole slots. So this is where it gets tough. So this is where we pull out our flathead screwdriver. And we're not prying we're just basically using a little bit of leverage to lock it into place now we did that kind of fast on the first one so we'll show you here how this pops open and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch it again quick here so we just use a little bit of leverage on the tray to pop it open enough to install that drive into the tray. So the flathead is kind of our little secret. Um, you don't want to pry. You want to be gentle yet firm. Um, that should help you get that drive into that tray. Um, if this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. That's how we know that we should keep making these videos. Um, and if you like free giveaways, definitely go to our Facebook page. It's greenpcgamers.com. There's no spaces. And if you like it, you will qualify for the free monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.